Dalvin Cook and Mario Pender got things started on the ground, and Everett Golson finished things off through the air, throwing for four touchdown passes as the Seminoles amassed more than 600 yards of total offense, defeating Texas State 59-16 in the season opener. Yeah, he played very well, and uh, one thing I feel like I took from Everett tonight was uh, his composure, you know. Even when a bad play did happen or, or something did go wrong, he was the same guy no matter what. And uh, that's one thing the whole team looks at, seeing that he's the quarterback of the team. And yeah, I expected that from Everett because he's a, he's a fifth year senior and it's his time and it's time to click. So I expected that from him and he did a good job tonight. He was very calm on the field and I got very high expectations from him. He's doing the job, um, great leader and you know, Jimbo demand a lot from him, and you know, right now he's playing up the part. We just got to keep pushing him. He gonna keep pushing us, and you know, he he's doing good job, good job, good job right now. I like what Everett did, not just throwing the ball, but the way he managed the game. Got to send now the right plays. Got to send now the right checks. Did a really nice job in that regard. Uh, still got some things he's got to work on. There's a couple little things. Yeah, I like uh, I like the way uh, Everett played tonight. He he was he was very crisp. He played smart. He didn't he didn't force things, and uh, he was able to make the reads and get the ball to, to the playmaker. So, I mean, if he continues to play like this, I'm pretty I'm I'm pretty happy with how the season is. Me and Mario, we could do a lot of things, and you know, man, the energy we give off each other, you know, no matter who, and we both could, we both could pop a eighty. And that's our mindset. We both get enough, we can do the same thing. We can pick up pass protections, we can run it, we can do whatever we can do. Every time he touches the ball, I, you know, I feel like I'm running it. And I, I know he feels the same. Every time I touch the ball, I know he feel like he's running it. So uh, I feel like we're a tandem, a one-two punch, but we're actually a one. So uh, that's how I feel about that. That's a good thing with having two good backs like that. Because the, 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 defen the def defensive back's going to always think we're going to run the ball, and that's going to open up the pass for us. And you got those two guys. You see them, and you, you throw them the ball out of the backfield. Those guys are dangerous now. I mean, they, they can make plays and they can change numbers on the scoreboard. They can get it down the field fast. And you saw Vickers and Jacquez when they got in there. Very pleased with those guys. But it was important. We, we've got to be able to run the football. I mean, when they're on point, it, it, just, it opens up uh, the defense. I mean, when it, it, it eliminates a lot of pressure when, when you know that the offense can go out there and score the points that they need to. So when the offense is on, is on point and scoring the way they, they do, I mean, it just makes defense more easy. You can let it, let it, let it loose. The Seminoles return to Dope Campbell Stadium at 11.30 a.m. next Saturday as they take on the USF Bulls in game two. Hopefully, Seminole fans, you show up strong like you did tonight, 80,000 strong to watch the Seminoles start 1-0. That'll wrap up things for now. LaneHurtSeminoles.com.